uh, you have scientific uh, research and that is uh, exploring the existing world. But what uh, design-oriented research will do and can do uh, is to explore new worlds, new vision. It's future-oriented. We are scientific, but scientific was a look uh, to the future. I think that, you know, actually these distinctions, maybe they're fading away and maybe they will uh, give room for new ecologies of research that perhaps then liberate us from old-fashioned disciplines like this is science, this is art, <laughs> this is design, you know? Artists have personal targets to reach something, but artistic research itself makes no sense. Which does not mean that it's not important, but it does make another sense than within science, for instance. It is curious about all kinds of combinations of things which one inquires. That's what it is. Everything uh, concerning art is, in fact, in the end, uh, looking for your own creative mind your creative and artistic mind, in fact. I think the big challenge for design research is that people see the importance of the added value of the creative input, that we are not only there to make a beautiful product, but we are actually adding a whole cultural meaning towards it. And I think getting this uh, underlined is very important because a lot of people uh, are not aware of this. And my primary function is to kind of start a graduate school which could be a narrative that binds all the different autonomous as well as independent art programs that we have into telling one story about what we stand for, who we are and what we're going to do together. So if we are to talk about the consistency in our disciplines, the way in which to understand it is that we are not here for homogenization. It's not to say that all art practice must look like each other. So as long as we keep on nurturing the passion that our students bring to our practice, as long as we continue to develop the visions and ambitions that our faculty has towards what are the kinds of worlds we want to live in, that's all that's needed. So artistic research for me has turned out to be a very vital tool to create dance pieces that are not bound to a certain aesthetic or to certain forms that are often perpetuated in the field of dance. So for me, it uh, turned out to be a very vital counterpart. The new model of research that we try to introduce is based upon the circular model in which the embodied knowledge of the students and the methodological uh, knowledge of the teachers and the research of the new lector, how they can be connected in a circular way by feedback loops and networks with the idea that this research will in quality broaden and deepen the education of both dancers and actors. I really do encourage artists to see the world, ask questions about the world and how the world is shaping because that's where the future is in terms of how the world is changing very, very rapidly in this 21st century. So I think artists have always been explorers. They need to be bigger and better explorers and hopefully you know, through research they can have all the right tools to be great explorers.